the earth will sustain itself in infinite ways the question is whether human will so in a way to sustain please subscribe if you are new to my channel whenever we talk of travel in a car earth moving around sun distance of earth like planets time it takes for sunlight to reach earth fastest man supercars fastest animal anything and everything that moves the term speed holds the supremacy of all the variables in common speed or velocity they both denote how fast or slow the subject is moving in terms of mathematics but why do we have two different names that indicate the same in one of our previous videos we have understood the differences between distance and displacement let's recall it with an example while traveling from village a to b the road has two bends at c and d the car has traveled the road of 10 plus 40 plus 10 that is 60 km distance but the actual shortest straight line displacement between a and b is 45 km thus the car has traveled the distance of 60 km to make a displacement of 45 km speed and velocities are also as simple as that let's assume time taken by the car to reach b is 1 half the car has traveled the distance of 60 km in 1 half and hence at speed of 60 km per half at the same time the car has been finally displaced by 45 km in 1 half and hence at velocity of 45 km per half thus to arrive at the formulas of speed and velocity that is speed is equal to distance over time and velocity is equal to displacement over time to be more clear let's have the car travel back to village a in another one half now the distance traveled is 60 plus 60 km in 1 plus 1 half hence the speed is equal to 120 km in 2 half which derives into speed of 60 km per half the car has returned to its starting point thus the resultant displacement is zero so velocity is 45 in one direction and 45 in opposite direction that is 45 plus negative 45 divided by 1 plus 1 half that implies 0 km over 2 halves or 0 km per half differences between speed and velocity speed distance covered by time taken velocity displacement made by time taken speed scalar quantity because of distance velocity vector quantity because of displacement speed cannot be zero as only addition is allowed velocity can be zero as displacement in negative direction is subtracted Please like, share, subscribe and click the bell icon for little more knowledge about the earth and universe under exploration. Thank you for watching.